I want to talk about recovery today, okay? A few things we're going to need, right? We're going to need our handy dandy foam roller, this guy here, okay? If you don't know what that is, we can get them at pretty much any sports store, MC Sports, Dunham's, Dick's, Sports Authority, I don't know what you have near you, but just about anywhere. And if you can't, Amazon, right? We can get on there and check that out. Also, um, I got kind of been experimenting with this rolling pin. What's up? Nothing fancy here. Uh, there is another gizmo that we can get that is designed to do what we're going to use this guy for, but I'm poor and chances are there's some other people out there that are in the same boat, so we're going to use this guy right here. Um, we're going to start with the foam roller, okay? One of the big things about working out is that we're going to get sore, right? We tear those muscles down and they go through that healing process and I've got a lot of clients like, oh, I'm so sore, I can't move. I can just, all I do is sit on the couch and, and going up and down stairs is not an option because it's post leg day and blah, blah, blah. Listen, okay? The last thing we want to do when we're sore and we're stiff is not freaking move, right? We need to move around, we need to be mobile, we need to get some bud pumping into those areas that are stiff and sore. On top of that, uh, it's, been, it's come to my attention that some people like to drink wine, and you know who you are, um, which is fine, right? Everything in moderation, okay? However, when we're super sore and we're dying, the last thing we need to do is dehydrate and make that healing process uh, take a little longer because we're not hydrating properly and giving our muscles what they need on top of amino acids and the others that we've discussed. So, I'm going to get you set up right here. We're going to start with the foam roller, okay? And as always, you know, when we're talking about working out, whatever, we always start with the spine, right? Neutral spine, neutral spine. You hear that a lot. So when we foam roll, we're going to start with the same thing, okay? I'm going to get a little side profile here. What I like to do is I start at the, at the bottom of my back, okay? Keep your core tight. We're going to roll through it. I keep my hands up here. That helps add a little bit of load on the foam roller, okay? We'll play around with this. We can go overhead. We can really pull ourselves down through the full range of motion, all right? We can get here. We can work through some mobilizing this way, right? We can take my hips. If you can see this, I'm going to take my hips down, touch the ground, back down. For those of you that are really struggling with that T-spine mobility, something that you can try, okay? Start about mid-back. We're going to go over here, touch our head, and from here, all I'm going to do is try to touch my hips on the ground while keeping your head planted on the other end, okay? But we're just going to work through this. If we got a super tight back, maybe there's some gunk right here that's super tight or super sore. Let's work through that all the way down. When you get to the bottom, you're going to have to use your core a little bit, which is a little counterproductive because that protagonist, antagonist relationship is going to fire up our lower back. So try to brace down here if you need to to alleviate some of that pressure, okay? Also experiment with giving yourself a hug. That really kind of separates your scapulas and lets us get in there and get that, that gritty gunk. For those of you that are sitting at a desk typing all day or flying on a plane, whatever. Um, as far as the rest of your body, I like to progress from there, low back, okay? From there, I like to roll over to the side. Then I work in my, my trap or my lat, sorry. Find a spot that's, that's bad for you. It doesn't matter what part of the body. Quads, hamstrings, calves, upper back, low back, my arms, whatever it is, okay? If you are going over something and you're like, holy cow, that hurts a lot, pause, right? Sit right there on that spot, okay? We're just gonna sit there and hold it, breathe, right? Don't, don't be like, oh God, it hurts, and now move, right? Breathe. I want you to do some cross fiber action, right? like against the grain, across the grain, okay? Work out that one spot and then start small. Start rolling it out and gradually get bigger, drift up and down, right? We can get into our triceps after that. Head planted on the side for those yoga folk, right? That's the end of our sequence. We're just gonna gather ourselves, brace in the face with the, the bicep, okay? That'll help us get on our tries. Our tries too, same thing. You find you're like, holy cow, my triceps are really tight. Chances are they are. We're gonna cross fiber that, right? Then start small, roll it out, get bigger and bigger, okay? Once we work through that, so let's transition to our quads. And when we do the quads, I like to do kind of like the end of the foam roller, right? We're gonna start out here. That way, I can use this other leg as like a little Spider-Man. Boop, I can get this up while I add all my load to the quad, okay? So I'm gonna be here. If this is super intense with you, start by the hip. This is super intense, right? And kind of see what I'm going on here. Whoop. Sorry, my shirt's in the way. If this is super intense, right? You're like, holy cow, 
I cannot get my body weight on here because I'm so sore. That is where our rolling pin comes in, right? And we'll transition to here. This guy, okay? What I like to do is I like to pick like the corner of a couch here because then you can kind of straddle it. But we can get our leg out, right? We're here. I can add my own pressure here and I can really just kind of mash my quads and be like, oh my God, that's a spot right there, right? I can kind of do some cross fiber action here. I'm replicating the same movement that I did over here on the foam roller, sorry, I had a brain fart there. I'm replicating the same movements that I did on the foam roller, only now I can kind of add my own pressure at my leisure, okay? So I'm here, I find a tight spot, maybe I work that, work out the whole muscle, okay? Top of the quad, we can roll the leg over, be careful here. You can see this, all right? My ankle position, whoop, down there, okay? Don't do something like this where we're really putting a lot of stress on the knee while we're doing this, okay? We're just going to roll it over, kind of like warrior one or warrior two, using the knife edge of our foot, okay? We're here. I'm going to get that IT band, usually super tight in here, super tight down there. If you find a spot, pause, cross fiber, start small, roll it out the full length of the leg. These are pretty cool because, yeah, when I'm down here on the ground, I need some space to move around. With this, we can watch our show, right? Maybe it's The Bachelorette, The Bachelor. You know who I'm talking about. Whatever show it is you like, Jersey Shore, I don't know what it is. But if you like it, you can show on the couch. We can do this stuff. We can work around here, okay? We can also get down on our calves. Sometimes we're real tight here on the top side of our shin, okay? We can take this guy, we can mash it. And if you notice, everything I'm doing right now, I'm doing from a planted position. Okay, I'm sitting here, my foot's planted, I'm static. When I wanna get um, the outside of my leg here, or even down here on my calves, what I'll do is I'll take the, the bottom hand here, the other hand will be the opposite grip. So we're gonna come around, that way I can really pull it hard to my leg here and mash those guys. I can do the same thing on the other side, flip the grip. I kind of mash it here. I can get underneath my hamstring. I can do both hands here, like I'm riding a bike. Bam, pull it up. Really work that hamstring out if that gets super tight. Sometimes we get stiff all the way up top here. I can really work on that. Um, the other thing we can do is if we want to just chill on the couch, bam, I can come here. I can do all my rolling right here, right? Same thing, like if I want to do my calves, I can do it here. And instead of me physically pulling the roller back and forth, right? I can get myself into a position and I can just kick my leg back and forth, right? Oh man, that's so tight, I can just work it real fast and then, whoo, take a little break, okay? Work around with it, play with it. Any questions, comment, subscribe, let us know. If you'd like a better routine on the foam roller, we can go over that, a better sequence. But I just want to give you some, some ideas, right? Find that spot, pause on it, cross fibers, start small, roll it out, right? Think about the pecking order when we're talking about really going through our mobility days and trying to increase our range of motion, increase the time that it takes us to recover, and decrease the amount of time that we're stiff and sore. Can't move, can't go up and down them stairs, okay? Once we get done, it's always good to follow some of this stuff up with some static stretching, okay? You can start with static stretching if you'd like, but we need to really get that myofascial release, so we need to get a lot of load on those spots that are bound up and, and really work it out, okay? Again, RPM Sports Performance, my name is Patrick. Let us know what we can do better.